I'm so glad to speak here, and、um, I could share my topic about unhappy marriage. As the stories that I heard as a child, marriage is about two people living happily, happily ever after, and I always thought that marriage is romantic and happy, but I don't think so. My first many years, I was not happy because of my parents. At that time, they were always quarreling for everything. But why did they quarrel? Nobody knows. Maybe just for the weather. And sometimes they not only quarrel, even fought so hard that they wanted to divorce. But when they had this thought, they always ended this dispute for the same reason. For me, they thought they had to cure my feelings. They had to accompany me. They had to cultivate me, and they said they have the responsibilities to give me an intact family. They must stay together. Thus, I spent my childhood with my parents who are in a happy marriage. By this graph, there is a significant amount of single-parent raising children, and in 2010, there were 2.7 million divorces. With 63.3 percent increasing, the number picked at 4.4 million. The high level of divorces means that unhappy marriages are quite common, and this trend is inevitable to some extent. Therefore, people began to wonder if children living with a single parent family have worse well-being than the children living with a two-parent family home. The society emphasizes the harmful part impacts on the children living with a single parent family. So some parents do not want to divorce, especially when their children are still very young. And you know, if the parents love their children, they may give anything to their kids. So this may force the parents to stay together to give their children a healthier home environment. But could the life go well? If the parents are in a happy marriage and in a home full of misunderstandings and quarrels, who is the victim of this dispute? The kid. Then I will explain this question from two aspects: from the parent and from the children. From the parent, firstly, it is harmful to the parent-child bond. In a happy marriage, parent-child integration shows up a sign of strain. As explained by the psychologist, if mom and dad are fighting, it will show up initially, or in some cases on a second day, in a poor relationship with their kids. There are a number of likely explanations. Firstly, quarrels and fights are terrible, and it gives a way to inconsistent parenting, and parents would have less energy. To invest in their children. Also, it causes a poor interpersonal skills. Disagreements are a part of life, and the first place children know how to handle themselves is their home, by watching their parents. If there is ongoing tension and conflict, children have few opportunities to learn the effective way to resolve the conflict. And if there is a limited modeling of successful conflict resolution. There is a limited learning about the successful relationship skills. This kind of children also have trouble with their romantic relationships. Children who are exposed to frequent marital problems, their experience about romantic relationships are negative. From the other perspective, from the children, first it is easy for them to blame themselves for their parents' quarrels and. And they are too young to understand their parents' beneficial intentions. So, if they always blame themselves, they bear the impact. Also, children are quite sensitive if they are informed of the result of divorce. They doubt themselves for plenty of things, such as whether their process are right or not, or whether they left barriers or not. These feelings are so terrible. Children would also lack safety. For example, one of my friends who is in the same situation, she always asks mom that 
Mom, would you love me all the time? And her mom always sighs, yeah. But let's imagine together that if these children grow up, if this child grow up, and if she knows her parents bear many years of parents' lives for her, could you imagine how sorry they are? And because all of this, and the mom realized that she could not find her happiness in, the, in this family, and she could, care, she could not care for me better, he decided to divorce immediately. Unfortunately, when they did this divorce, they didn't ask, ask about my feelings. I mean, I was neglected. I just knew the results and chose who I want to live with. It is very common in many families because the children could not directly participate in the process of divorcing. But, thanks to my mom, she gave me enough explanation that they just live so divinely because of a happy marriage, not for me, and promised me that I would still be loved. Finally, I chose to live with my mom. She gave profound love to me, and she gave me a warm family. I would never feel bad about myself. And actually, I was so proud of her because of her desire and bravery. So, it is important for children to know that they will remain love and safety. Keep constant love as much as possible. And the best way to remain love and safety is communication, which could correct the misunderstandings of this situation timely. And today, I do not want to indicate that parents should all divorce and pursue their own happiness. Everyone has their own choice to decide how, how they live and how they pursue their own happiness. So I wish every family could find their own happiness and could share a warm time with their relatives. And today, I want to indicate that it is important and significant for parents to let their children know they are still in control of their own happiness. Please, if you truly love your children, give them enough freedom and respect them. Do not make choice for children in things such as divorcing. There are many ways of accessing to the happiness and none of them requires a marriage certificate between the parents. And now, I live happily with my mom. The time we spent together was so memorable. We went to plenty of places, Thailand, Egypt, Russia, to enjoy the gorgeous scenery, to wet our horizons. And also, we have the same destination. We could work hard together. She works for her business, I work for my study. Although sometimes we are dissatisfied with each other, none of them would affect our relationship. Because of my mother, I could love myself and I'm able to love others. And because I could love others, I could love myself more. Life is beautiful. Sometimes it is my thing. My mom always said, and I will remember it. And I love my mom. Thank you.